Fall is here. This time of the year is my favorite. A period of transformation and exciting changes, it provides many opportunities for healing. But just like everything in life, you can't have the good without the bad. Jumping into piles of leaves and baking apple pies are fun, but seasonal affective disorder totally isn't. Think you might have it? Here are six signs you may have seasonal affective disorder. One, you're either sleeping too much or too little. When we change our clocks back one hour for daylight savings, it saves us an extra hour of sleep. But sometimes that's not always the case. Seasonal affective disorder is caused by the changes in our circadian rhythms, melatonin and serotonin. The faster it gets dark outside, the more it can disrupt our internal clock, which can cause our body to produce too much melatonin, leaving us feeling drowsy or lowering our serotonin, which can take away from our sleep. Both melatonin and serotonin govern our sleep and wake cycle, so when the levels alternate, it can make a good night's sleep nearly impossible. We recommend taking a nice warm bath before you get into bed or curling up with a cup of hot tea. It doesn't hurt to also light up some lavender candles to help your mind and body calm down after a long day. The more relaxed you feel, the faster you'll fall asleep. I personally also really love ASMR. 2. You're experiencing appetite and weight changes. Are you experiencing food cravings for sweets or salty snacks? With the cold weather, it's tempting to binge on junk food in front of the TV, but this is how SAD gets you. We don't want to sound like your mom, but it's important to eat your fruits and veggies. If you have a craving for carbs, we suggest you eat whole grain and add some bananas to your oatmeal. This will boost your serotonin levels. Foods high in omega-3 fats will also help you combat depression, such as fish, walnuts, and soybeans because they can improve your mood. 3. You don't enjoy your usual hobbies We get it, some days you just don't want to do anything after you get home from school or work. But if this starts to become consistent, it might be SAD kicking in. Losing your energy or your drive to do your favorite activities is a dead giveaway to this condition. You might find that you also have trouble concentrating on tasks. We recommend that you go outside for some sunshine. Getting your vitamin D is essential. Those who face a deficiency in it often experience tiredness and body aches. You'd be surprised just how much a 10-minute walk can do for you. If you can, we suggest going out in the morning. That way, it starts your day off right with the fresh air. 4. You have frequent mood swings. This is something I struggle with a lot. The waterworks are no joke and when they happen, sometimes they come out of nowhere. It's okay to cry, but we hope if you're in the same boat, please don't hesitate to reach out to loved ones, or to us. Which brings us to point five, you withdraw from others. It's natural to cancel plans when a snowstorm is coming, but if you're being a hermit 24 seven, something's definitely up. Come out from those covers and call up your friends and family. They want to be there for you. And if you feel guilty for ditching them, don't let that consume you. They'll understand when you bring up SAD. It's a lot more common than you think. 6. You get suicidal thoughts. This is probably the worst symptom of all. It might feel like a dead end is approaching when winter doesn't learn to let go, but please remember that spring is right around the corner. 